What's going on guys? So today we're starting off today's video going to O'Reilly to swap out my Optima battery because I don't know if it's the battery that's bad or I have some type of parasitic draw in my car but my car will not stay charged. That battery is always dead every time I sit, let my car sit for like even two days the car is dead. So we're going to go ahead and swap that battery out because those have like a three year warranty I think and we're going to go see if my car will start. Well, obviously it's going to start, but hopefully it holds charge and we'll see what else we're going to get done today because I know we got a lot to do today. While we're here, they just so happen to have my paint code and color match. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of those up so I can paint my fender up and we'll see if they have the, the stick because this comes in handy to get one of those paint match correction sticks. So we're back at the house. Juan's over here now. So they had my paint code, so I did get that. But they wouldn't they wouldn't want to see that battery because the charge was way too low. This is the first time I've ever had that issue. Everyone else is always just like was like, alright, here you go, here's a new battery. These guys are just doing their job way too hard though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and charge that up again. Hopefully it works this time. If not, then I'll go to the other right. So I went ahead and jumped the car with Alex Z. We're just actually going to let it run for a bit and hopefully we can get this thing to charge. I'll let it actually run for like probably like 30 minutes or to an hour just so we're going to actually get it to fully charge. But the car's running, everything's good, so let it charge. I threw some primer on there, I already got it sanded down. I only threw it in this part that went back to the raw material. The rest of this still has the base coat, clear coat, and the sealer underneath it, so I just like there was no point to get any on there so just primed up the spots that were back to the raw material sanded that down smooth and now we're gonna go hit it with the paint hopefully we'll get it done today well while we're waiting for my fender to dry Alec and Juan are going to uh, Home Depot to get a steel plate because they are working on welding his PM Hydro and the Z we've got to weld the plate onto the chassis itself and then the hydro to the plate and that's all gonna be set up. I like going with the inline hydro, as you guys already know from our PBM video. But um, yeah, they're gonna get that done today. We're also gonna maybe put in Aiden's hydro. And um, Aiden's hydro is a maybe because he's still at work. I don't know if we're gonna have time. But we're for sure also gonna go to Juan's house because we gotta get that SR rolling real soon. So I got the paint all laid out on the fender. Um, it is rattle can, it's paint that's rattle can, so I don't expect it to be the best. I still have to use some sand in it to put the clear coat on, but as you can see, it is the same color. The, the sliding's not very good for it, but it does have the pearl and all the good stuff that this color coat does have. So once it all dries up, we'll go ahead and sand it and throw some clear on it, and we should be good to go. And I want to add that I think the car's been running for about 30 minutes now. Uh, I do have my fans on it and everything's good, so it's not overheating. I tested the battery with the voltmeter and it says around 13.5, which is kind of where it's supposed to be, 13 to 14. So it should be charged now, but I'm just going to go ahead and let it run for a little bit more just to ensure that it's like 100% charged. That way in a couple days when I try to start it again, if it's dead, we know the battery's bad. How do you feel about this? <laughs> So right now Juan's figuring out how to cut the steel plate to fit in there and then we can go ahead and weld the hydro to the plate and slap it in there and throw some welds in. Before we weld everything on to the actual plate we're going to go ahead and practice a bit just to make sure the settings on the welder is all good. Then once we figure everything out we're going to go ahead and throw it on there. One side I welded up, not the prettiest welds, but compared to how they used to be, pretty good one. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw the welds on this side and paint it up. Actually, no, we're gonna weld this in the car first, then we'll paint it up. We got the sound deadening off over there and a little bit off the corner. We're gonna grind it down with the angle grinder to get the fresh surface, and then that's gonna sit right there. It gives us, yeah, like right about there. Gives us a good whole service to weld here, and we can weld the back, and then we have room over here to get the sides. 
Uh, we're, there's going to be a little bit of gap right over here, but we can weld it right over there and up here a little bit. And same with this side, the back corner right there, and there should be more than enough to hold the hydro in. Everything's down to bare metal. Metal sheet is placed where it needs to be. <laughs> Let me find some white. It's been a couple hours since I last filmed, but Alex's still over here trimming his interior pieces to... Oh god. Yeah, they look really shitty. But he's <laughs> attempting to trim it so it can look really clean inside the side of the car. Uh, I also went to Home Depot and picked up a can of clear. As you can see, the fender looks nice and shiny now. We're gonna get it all nice, get a couple of coats in there, and throw it back on the car. So Alec got the interior back together. He had to bore out this hole a little bit. And these AC controls don't work anymore, so we're just gonna have to find a place to put it. I think we're gonna end up throwing it in there, just cutting that out so it's slipped in there. So it'll look clean still. And throw some like delete pods or here, something over there. But the hydro's not plumbed in yet. But we're just going to go ahead and take it off and then send it to Suspicious or someone to go ahead and plumb the lines because we don't feel like doing that. But yeah, this thing is solid. It's not going anywhere. That works. We got the matching shift knob. And that's it for Alex Z for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, it's been a long day working on cars. We didn't even get to go to Juan's house to work on the SR. But first thing tomorrow in the morning, we're going to get over there and start getting the thing on. And at least get the motor into the car tomorrow because... Like I've said, we gotta get that thing going and uh, it has a long way to go still, but we'll make it. We're good at this last minute prep stuff. So, see you guys tomorrow with a video of Juan's car for damn sure.